Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a cheap makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show y'all how I came up with this look using all of the cheapest products that I have in my collection that I can make work for my skin tone. So all of the products that I'm using today individually, none of them are over $10 and I believe the cheapest one, or I'm sorry, the most expensive one that I'm using today, I believe is $7.99. Yeah, the most expensive product that I'm going to be using today is $7.99 and I spent a grand total of $78.39 to create this look. So before we get into the demo, if you are new here, I'm Sonia. I go by Sistar Philly on YouTube. I really hope that you'll consider subscribing today. I would really appreciate it and it will really help me out. And as always, for those of you who are already supporting my channel and you're already subscribed, I really, really appreciate your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you all so much for coming back today. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm starting off with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this retails for $5.99. Now I have to use two of these to mix them together so I did account for that in my total sheet I have on here that I spent $11.98 on foundation. But if you only need one, it's gonna cost you $5.99 each. I'm using the colors Coco and Espresso and I'm not a big fan of this paddle but I'm just using it for today. I'm doing like maybe um, maybe like two parts of cocoa to one part of espresso and the cheapest foundation that I have that I don't have to mix two together that would be my NYX foundation and this one retails for $14.99 each so even with me having to mix two colors together um, this Wet n Wild foundation is still the cheapest one that I have so I'm just going to be blending this out with a sponge. All right, next I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this one is in the color Cool Tan. I'm gonna use this to highlight under my eyes and a little bit on my um, chin and forehead. And this one retails for $5. And this actually used to be one of my favorite concealers. I used this um, pretty much like every time I did makeup for quite some time and I think I think I stopped using this one when I started using my NARS concealer, I feel like. But prior to that, I did use this concealer uh, a lot. And I'm gonna be blending that out with the same makeup sponge. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge, just in case you're wondering. I feel like this is one of those products that um, now that I have moved on to other products, you know, this one I can, you know, get away with it, but this is the first time in like forever that I'm using this to highlight. And in my head, I'm comparing it to what I use now, which is um, the Too Faced, this thing, I can never remember the name of this. What is this? The Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I always wanna call it the Too Faced Super Coverage Concealer, but anyway, in my mind, I'm comparing this um, concealer to the Too Faced one and also to the NARS one, and I can definitely see a difference. Like to me, the two um, other concealers are just a little bit better in terms of like coverage and you know, maybe I could experiment in this concealer with a different color too, but to me the color is just not as good as the other two concealers that I just mentioned. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on my under eye area.
I'm going in with another LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one is in the color Toast. I'm going to use this to lightly contour my nose. So this one also retails for $5. Um, I like a pretty um, subtle contour. So as you can see with the color, I could probably afford to go darker if I wanted to. But I like for my nose contour to be just very slight, nothing too dramatic. And I'm blending this one out with the same brush as well. I mean, same sponge. I get lazy when it comes to like um, application tools. I try to use the least amount possible because I never feel like washing them out when I'm done. All right, now I'm gonna set everything in place and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This one is in the color light. This retails for $7.99. Now, usually when I do my makeup, I will mix this powder with another one. It's a, a powder that's slightly darker, but I can get away with using this powder on its own because it does come off quite translucent. So since we're trying to keep the cost as minimal as possible, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna go in and set almost all of my face with this powder. I mentioned um, in a recent video that lately I haven't been setting my under eye area. So I'm not gonna do that today. Um, lately my under eye area has just been getting like really, really dry. So the last few times that I tried to set it with a powder, like no matter how little powder I used, my under eye area was just like super dry. So lately I just haven't been doing that. Okay, next I'm doing my brows, but I'm gonna do this part off camera, but I did recently put out a, um, a brow tutorial. So I'll link that up here if you wanna see how I do my brows. I'm using the e.l.f. Brow Pencil, and this one is in the color Deep Brown. This one retails for $2. This is definitely a product that's not my favorite, but I can make it work. So again, I'm using it because it's the cheapest thing that I have for today. So I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, my brows are all done. I like setting my brows with a powder, so I'm gonna go back in with the same powder that I used to set my entire face. So this is already on my price list at $7.99, and I'm just going to take a blending brush and just very lightly dust some of this powder on my brows. I prefer this over using a gel. Now again, when I set my brows, I do use this powder mixed in with a slightly darker powder, but I can get away with using that one on its own. Next, we're going into eyeshadow and I'm gonna use um, an eyeshadow primer first or concealer. So I like using two separate concealers on my lids. So I'm going back in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. And I'm gonna use this as a primer toward my brow bone. Put a little bit more on both sides actually. I don't really know what kind of eye look I'm doing just yet. And I'm just gonna blend those out. So I already had this one on my price list because I already used it to set the center of my face. But now I'm going in with another concealer to apply it to my lid. This is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer in the color Light Medium Beige. And then this one retails for $3.99. I like using two separate um, concealers on my eye because I just want the one that I'm putting on my lid, I just want that one to be a bit brighter than the one that I'm using toward my um, toward my brow bone. So I'm just taking the same brush and I'm just going to pat this out and I'm just making sure it's nice and flat against my skin.
Okay, so the cheapest eyeshadow palette that I have is from Wet n Wild, and this one is the Color Icon palette in Not a Basic Peach. I don't use this hardly ever because it is a very warm tone palette. And after I tried this for the first time, I said that I was gonna go back and get another one because they have a couple of couple of them that are a bit more cool tone. I just never went back and got it. But this is a nice palette. I just don't use it that much because I'm more into cool toned looks. But this one retails for $4.99. So I'm gonna start off with this color at the bottom, one of the transition shades, and I'm going to apply that to my crease area. And I think I'm gonna go in with like, I think I'm gonna stick with like a relatively simple look for today, but we shall see. Okay, next I'm going in with this um, shimmery blue color here. I'm going to apply that to most of my lid. I don't know if I'm gonna have to wet this or not. I can't remember. I don't even know if I ever used this color before or what. Um, I feel like I, I don't think I've ever used this. I feel like I would remember if I had used this color. I'm not sure. But anyway, it looks quite pigmented without wetting the brush. So I think I'm gonna stick with the dry brush. But I'm just gonna pull the color up just a little bit into my crease. Next, I'm taking this dark brown shade and I'm going to apply that to the outer part of my lid. Oh, that's nice and dark. I'm gonna take that same dark brown color, but I'm picking it up on another brush. This is just a very small blending brush. And I'm going to like drag that kind of like into my crease area a little bit. I'm also going to take this brush and just slightly run over where the two colors are meeting and that's just to make them blend just a little bit better on my eyelid. All right, I'm going back in with my Wet n Wild concealer so I already have this on my price list. I'm going to put some of the concealer on a liner brush. like so and I'm just going to dab this concealer right underneath my lower lash line and this is going to serve as kind of like a um, a primer for the shadow on my lower lash line. I do have another product that is quite inexpensive that I would normally use for this. It's an eyeliner but just because I'm trying to keep the cost as low as I possibly can, I'm just trying to double up on products whenever I can. All right, I'm gonna take the dark brown color on my liner brush and I'm going to apply that to the very outer part of my lower lash line and I'm just dabbing it like right on top of that concealer. I'm also gonna like Right in the corner here, I'm just gonna drag it up just a little bit so that it connects to the shadow on my top lash. I mean, my top lid. 
Then I'm going in with the first shade that I use as a transition shade. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my uh, lower lash line. And then I'm going in with the shimmery blue color that we used and I'm gonna put that on the inner part of the lower lash line. Okay, and I think I'm gonna try this color here, this like peachy color. Even though it's a little bit more matte than it is shimmery, I think I'm gonna try this one for, um, to highlight my inner corner. I pulled out the wrong brush. So let's see what this color looks like. All right, I think it's a bit too subtle. So just to keep things consistent, I'm going to apply it on the inner corner on my other eye too. Yeah, I think it's a bit too subtle. So I'm gonna go on top of that with this I'm torn. <laughs> um, I remember that I don't really care for these two colors here. So I think I'm gonna go on top of that with this shade here and hopefully that'll work. This is not all that shimmery either, but it's brighter. So hopefully it'll brighten that area up. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, not quite what I was going for, but it looks okay. All right, um, let's move on to some bronzer. I'm using another Maybelline Fit Me powder. Um, this one is in the color 40 Dark. So this one also retails for $7.99. Normally when I do my makeup, I may use this particular powder to bronze on my forehead and I'll use something else on my cheeks. But again, I'm trying to keep the cost down here. So I'm gonna go in with this to bronze on both areas of my face. So I'm just taking a light fluffy brush. I have just a very little bit of product on here because I always end up applying like way too much bronzer. So on the first application, you may feel like you can't even see anything, but that's because I hardly have anything put on my brush. Now I'm sure you guys can tell that I have a big forehead. And when I first started filming on YouTube, I never used to um, bronze or contour my forehead. And now when I, every time I do this, I'm like, what was I thinking <laughs> that I wasn't trying to make this area look smaller. Okay, I'm just switching brushes. This is the M105 brush and I'm taking the same powder on this brush and I'm just gonna very lightly bronze right above the hollows of my cheek here. So the reason I don't typically use this powder on my cheek is because I actually think I did an okay job today, but normally I'll go in with just like way too much product and I just feel like it ends up looking like just way too dark on my face. So the product that I normally use to bronze my face, my cheek and my um, jawline, it is a, a higher end product from um, Too Faced. So that does cost a bit more than this one. I feel like my eyes are kind of crazy right now with my um, inner corner highlight because now it looks kind of pink, but I'm hoping it'll all come together when I put my um, when I put my mascara on. Actually, let's go back to the eyes really quickly because this looks totally incomplete. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with this first shade that we used, the transition shade, and I'm just gonna pick that up with my blending brush, and I'm just gonna like 
try to close this off over here. And I normally do this when I do my um, my eyeshadow. I just, for some reason, forgot. I'm gonna switch brushes. First, I'm gonna take my other, my smaller blending brush, and I'm just gonna very lightly diffuse this out over here. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna pick up my transition shade with this other brush and see if I can just finish this off over here. This is always a problem for me when I do eyeshadow because I have like skin that droops down like right in the corner of my eye. So I always have a problem with applying the shadow right there. All right, and then I'm gonna take my sponge. It has some um, foundation and concealer still left on there. And then I'm just gonna dab right in the corner to try and make it look a bit more lifted. I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, where was I? So moving on to blush, this blush, I only used it once because I didn't care for it, but I think I can make it work. This is another Maybelline product, uh, Maybelline Fit Me Blush. And this one is in the color Rose. So that's the packaging. And this is what it looks like. It's a bit more pink than I would like. I normally wear um, like corally, like peachy type blushes. That's the one thing that I actually like to be a bit more warm toned on my skin. And I just didn't feel like this blush kind of like showed up on my face. Like I feel like I had to apply quite a bit of it, but maybe because that it's just like not the right color, not necessarily the consistency of the blush but I don't know. I just feel like my skin looks a bit more awake and more like prominent when I'm using like a warmer toned blush. Doesn't look bad, it's just not my favorite. Okay, next we're going in with highlighter and thankfully this is actually one of my favorite highlighters. I haven't used it in a very long time, but just because I got hooked on other things. But this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is in the color Be My Highlight. For a long time, they only had this color, but now they do have this highlighter in other shades. Um, this is a very, very subtle highlighter. So if you're the type of person who likes like a lot of pop from their highlighter, you're not gonna get it with this one. So as you can see, it's like super, super subtle and if you have like a darker um, skin tone than I do you might think that this looks a bit ashy on you but I think it works for my skin tone so I'm just putting that on the high points of my cheek and I'm also dragging it down the center of my nose and I'm also going to take some of this on a fan brush and use that to highlight right under my brow. Right, next I'm going in with the Wet n Wild setting spray. I'm using a lot of Wet n Wild today because they're a very inexpensive brand. Um, but this is their matte finish setting spray. This one retails for $4.99. This is actually gonna be my first time using this product. So we'll see how I like it. I usually use the NYX finish spray or the Maybelline one. This one is like um, more than, less than half the price of the NYX one. Okay, so one thing I really like about this spray is the nozzle. I feel like it gave me like a very, very even mist of product, but um, you know, it's my first time using it, so I don't know about how, how well it works in terms of like keeping your makeup set, but that nozzle is actually really nice. 
And thankfully, the liner, the eyeliner that I use is the one that I use every single time I do my makeup. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is in black. And this one retails for $7.50. I'm never able to do this and like stay in camera. Even when I'm holding a handheld mirror, I'm always blocking the view. So I always do this off camera. So I'm going to apply this and I will be right back. All right, for mascara today, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And then this one retails for $4.99. I actually used to use this one a lot when I first um, bought it, but you know, again, I just moved on to other things, but I did really like this mascara. And I have another one from Essence that also costs $4.99 that I really like. So I really just picked, you know, between the two for today. So I'm going to finish applying my mascara off camera. It does take me a while to apply my mascara. So I'm gonna apply this and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm finished putting on my mascara that took like five minutes, but um, in case this is your first time watching one of my videos, I don't wear false lashes. So um, it does take me a little bit to apply my mascara. So now I'm gonna finish everything off with the um, my cheapest lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick and this one retails for 99 cents. This one is in the color cashmere and I actually used this um, just the other day for the first time in another makeup look that I did. It was a um, grunge, a fall grunge makeup look. So I'll put that up here in case you haven't seen it. Um, I really, really like this lipstick, but I'm using it today because it's my cheapest one. I do have other Wet n Wild lipsticks from their matte line. Those I think retail for $2.49. So this one at 99 cents is the cheapest one that I have. All right, so I went ahead and took my hair down. Um, this is the completed look for today. I was a little bit concerned about how the lips were going to go with the eyes, but I do think that everything turned out well. I'm not too crazy about the color that I chose for my inner corner highlight. I do think it looks a little too pink, but overall I'm satisfied given the fact that I've used all of the cheapest stuff that I could possibly use today. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. I would also appreciate it if you leave me some feedback in the comment section. And I really hope that y'all will come back for my next video. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.